What's up YouTube, Defragon here with a in-depth guide on setting up your Paladin for PvP. Uh, there's gonna be a battleground playing in the background that's just too... that's just eye candy. But first off we're gonna get started on specs. There are two different specs, there's a two-handed spec and there's a dual wielding spec. As of right now the two-handed spec is better for PvP. It puts out better burst damage and faster rune generation which benefits over the dual wielding. All right. Here's the two-handed spec that I'll throw up right now. And then I'll throw up the dual wielding spec. All right, next we're going to go into glyphs. For prime glyphs, you will need glyph of frost strike, howling blast, and obliterate. For major glyphs, you will need glyph of dark secor for getting health back after getting a killing blow it gives around 30 25k health back uh, anti-magic shell glyph and strangulate glyph and if you want you can change one of those out for the hungering cold glyph but I personally don't use hungering cold all that much and the minor glyphs really don't matter all that much but the ones I use is death's embrace horn of winter and resilient grip and you can also use blood tap in there if you want all right, next we're going to talk about stat priority. All right, right now the stat priority is 5% melee hit is what you want to get first, and then 195 spell penetration so that your chains of ice and death grip don't get resisted. Then resil and strength are pretty much on the same level. It depends on uh, depends on what you're doing since this case you're gonna be purely offensive it would be strength the mastery haste crit and expertise be sure that once you have the five percent hit cap to re reforge the lowest stats being expertise and crit into mastery or haste I prefer to reforge them into mastery for bigger crits as for the gems, yellow sockets, you will want to use a mystic light stone. Or, if you don't have the amazing amount of cash that it takes to afford the new gems, uh, you would just get a mystic amber jewel. For blue, it would be stormy deep home low light. Or the cheaper solution, stormy ocean sapphire. For red, you would go with the bold queen's garnet and the cheaper solution would uh, be the bold inferno ruby for the matas it would be the reverberating shadow spirit diamond or the destructive shadow spirit diamond but I find the reverberating shadow spirit diamond to be a lot more useful I, I don't see crit really helping me out that much I like to I like the strength and as for socket bonuses if the socket bonus gives you resil or strength, then it's worth gemming the appropriate color to get that socket bonus. But if it's not, then gen, I would gem straight up strength. I mean, you can gem resil if you don't have much resil, but strength seems to benefit more, especially for an offensive class. As for the enchants, for your helmet, you will need the Arcanum of the Vicious Strength. For the shoulders, it would be the Greater Inscription of Vicious Strength. Cloak would be Enchant Cloak with Greater Spell Piercing. Chest would be Enchant Chest with Mighty Resilience. Bracers is Enchant Bracers with Major Strength. Gloves is Enchant Gloves with Mighty Strength. Belt is the Ebon Steel Belt Buckle, and I would gem a Strength gem in that. Leggings is dragon scale leg armor. Boots is enchant boots with haste. And for a two-handed weapon, you would use your Rune of the Fallen Crusader, Reforge. Or not Reforge, but uh, Rune Forge. And if you were dual wielding, which I wouldn't recommend, you would have Rune of the Fallen Crusader on your main hand. And I would use a Perium weapon chain on the offhand because that would benefit a lot when rogues disarm you because that seems to be a really big problem. <laughs> and as for the rotation, 
there isn't really much there isn't a rotation for PvP. It's all situational and priority. Uh the main moves that I use are the ones that I have on my extra bars add-on at the bottom. It's uh I use Frost Strike whenever I'm full on runic power to dump all my runes out. Or whenever my obliterator howling blast is on cooldown. Uh, obliterate is your hardest hitting move. That's the one you want to use as much as possible to dish out the most damage. Uh, Howling Blast, I usually use only when either it's the only move available or they're kiting me. It tends to do a decent amount of damage whenever you're getting kited as a Frost DK. Uh, if I need to generate runic power and I'm running low on health, I will spam Death Strike to get runic power and health. And then after that, I will use my... Uh, Lichborn macro or my uh, sacrifice school with death pack macro to get health back quicker and then mind freeze I always want to keep an eye on our dibs on the cooldown for that so that I know whenever I can use it and whenever I can interrupt people quickly <clears throat> and that's pretty much it uh, I think I covered mostly everything uh, I hope this guide helped you out and look forward to seeing one for blood decays and one for unholy decays as well. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you liked it and like it if you liked it. Uh, thanks for watching.